Hi, welcome to our electromagnetic theory course. In the last video, we discussed about the parameters of the transmission line. They are classified as primary and secondary. Primary param parameters are nothing but R, L, C, Z. Secondary parameters are Z0 and gamma. These are derived from R, L, C, Z. The expression of Z0 and gamma is like this. Basically, the transmission line is a distributed network. R, L, C, distributed. It is a distributed element. Means what? We can't separate physically R, L, C, G. In case of the lumped elements, we have a separate resistance, inductance, capacitance like that. But in case of the transmission line, as it is a distributed element, it is R, L, C, G are uniformly distributed throughout the length of the line. Okay. So, as length of the line is large, let us split this one into small equal parts of length delta x, where delta x is tending to 0. Each and every part, each and every piece of the transmission line or part of the transmission line is consisting of R, L, C, G elements like this for the unit distance, for a distance of what? Delta x. So, that is why they are defined. R is on the line, L is on the line. They are series element, series distance per unit length of the transmission line. L is series inductance per unit length on the line, where C is shunt capacitance per unit length, whereas G is a parallel conductance per unit length between the conductors because they are parallel elements, they are series elements. As they are defined per unit length, they are measured like this. R is measured into the units of R is measured in terms of what? Ohms per meter, inductance per unit length means Henry per meter, Farad per meter, G that is ohm mos per meter. Mu and epsilon are okay. L is similar to what? C is similar to like this. That is the units of mu is what? Henry per meter and epsilon is farad per meter. In case of the wave propagation, we discussed about this mu epsilon. Okay. Medium parameters. Whereas line parameters are L and C. Okay. In this video, we will discuss about transmission line equations. Transmission line equations. Before entering into that part, let us take this one. Means this transmission line this transmission line is consisting of let us take delta x this delta x let us zoom it then we will have a part it is consisting of r it is consisting of r l c and g like this this c and g are parallel elements and r l are series elements okay and the length of the transmission line, this the length of the transmission line is, let us take, it is some delta x. It is also consisting of R, L, C, G. Let us take this is input. And next, again, some delta x. Each and every delta x, that means each and every piece of the transmission line is consisting of R, L and C, G like this. Let us take a transmission line, this one. Okay, this one only I had taken. This is, let us take this as some, okay, it is the length of the transmission line I consider like this, that is x equal to L. Only I consider one piece of the transmission line of length delta x. For that delta x, we consider like this. If I consider again delta x, that is also consisting of R, L, C, G. Let us consider this point as, okay, so total length of the line is, total length of the line is x equal to L. Here length is variable. Suppose here x equal to L means up to this part we may take L dash. This is the length of the line is may be taken as L dash. Okay, that means x is variable. At, a, at this location x equal to 0. At this location x equal to L. Okay. And let us take this point as A, this point as A and this point as B. Okay, only I consider one piece of the this transmission line, this part. Okay, remaining parts also consisting of this R, L, C, G. Okay, if I draw that one also, this diagram becomes complex. So that's why for the simplicity, I draw only like I consider this delta x. Okay, for A to B, I consider this length, the length of the transmission line from A to B, I consider what delta x. Now by using this diagram we can derive transmission line equations at x equal to l 
at x equal to n. This is the load end and this is the source end. That end is connected to the x equal to 0 end is connected to the source and x equal to L is connected to the load end. Okay. Now we can derive transmission line equations. Actually, we need to discuss in this video transmission line equations. Transmission line equations. Transmission line equations. So these transmission lines equations are in terms of what voltage and current. Let us assume at point A voltage is V and uh, at point B there exists some potential difference between point A and P point B. Let us assume at the point B it is V plus dV. V plus dV. For the point A current is taken as as voltage for corresponding to voltage current is taken as I and for V plus dV corresponding current can be taken as I plus dI. That means what voltage at, at point A voltage is V and current is I at point B at point B at point A I assumed voltage as V and at point sorry at point A voltage is V and current is I and at point B V plus dV corresponding to this there exists a current difference that is I plus dI okay now by using this concept we can derive our transmission line equations let us assume current is uniform current is uniform throughout the okay current is uniform from this point to this point let us take current assume current is uniform in that case the potential difference by assuming by assuming I as constant, I as constant, the potential difference between I as constant, the potential difference between the potential difference between the potential difference between the potential difference between A and B at point A and B, potential difference between at point A and point B at point A and point B is given by is given by what is the potential difference we have at point A potential or voltage is V and at point B we can take this as what V plus dV it is the potential difference between point A and point B at point A voltage is V and at point B okay if there exists voltage difference and here we assumed what current is constant and we know that current is constant or current is same in case of the series elements. In that case, we can write I equal to what? Okay, voltage equal to what? We can write this one V minus V plus dV. It is the potential difference per unit distance. And here we consider a distance of from A to B is what? dx. It is the potential difference. And we assumed current as constant. Current is constant or current is uniform or current is same for the series elements. What are the series elements R and L? For R and L, we can write impedance as what R plus J omega L. It is simply what I into Z, I into Z that equal to what V equal to I into Z. Whereas V is the, we consider potential difference. Potential difference per unit distance, that is nothing but what dx or delta x. dx or delta x, both are same. dx or we can replace with delta x, both are same. Okay, in this case, we can write this one as what? I will go here. So, what is that? V minus V cancelled out minus dV by dx minus dV by dx is equal to what? I into R plus J omega L. What is this L and R? These are the primary constants of the transmission line. Okay. R else this can be written. This minus can be written here multiply with minus on both sides it is minus into minus it becomes plus and here we will get minus i into r plus j omega l it is the one of the transmission line equation similarly current difference similarly current difference current difference between current difference 
between a and b that means point a and point b what is the current difference so at point a i have a current of i we have a current of i and at point a i plus di it is the current difference between point a and point b that means what here current is different it means voltage is same voltage is same in case of the parallel network what are the parallel elements here we have v that is v into g plus j omega c simply it is nothing but what i into r plus j omega l is nothing but what v equal to since v equal to i into z we can remember like this where z is what r plus j omega l and uh, we can write expression for what we need to write expression for on left hand side what we have i i can be written as what v into y that is admittance since i equal to v into y that is y is where y is what g plus j omega c and z can be written as what r plus j omega l it is series impedance that is r plus j omega l whereas shunt admittance is nothing but g plus j omega c or parallel admittance is nothing but what y equal to g plus j omega c now from this we can write i i cancel out that is written as what minus di by dx or else di by dx means multiply with minus sign on both sides we will get what minus v into g plus j omega c g plus j omega c this is equation or else it is equation a take this as equation a this is equation b okay now differentiate equation 1 with respect to x differentiate equation a differentiate equation a with respect to x means what again we are differentiating v with respect to x means what we require the change in the voltage means current is treated as constant if you want change in the voltage we need to maintain the current as constant if you want change in the current we need to maintain the voltage as constant voltage is same in the parallel elements what are the parallel elements g and c and here we require change in the voltage means current is constant current is constant means current is same current is same in case of the series elements so that is what what are the series element r and l are the series element in that case we have series impedance here in this case we require what change in the current okay per unit distance what about the unit distance uh, in this case uh, distance is what dx and what about okay we require the change in the current means volt we need to maintain the voltage as constant voltage is constant for the parallel elements what are the parallel elements that are nothing but g and c in that case we have the parallel admittance that is nothing but what i equal to v into y like this where y is g plus j omega c now suppose if i differentiate this equation a equation a with respect to x means what again we require the change in the voltage d square v by d x square is equal to what r plus r and j omega l are constants r and j omega l are constants now we are differentiating this equation equation a with respect to x sorry actually here i applied differentiation on both sides differentiate equation a with respect to x means r l are constants whereas if the distance changes current also changes so that's why we will get what that is the di by dx and here what we have minus i i forgot to write that one that is d square y by d square v by dx square equal to r plus j omega l into di by dx what about di by dx here we have what that is minus okay from b we can write this one as di by dx is nothing but this one here we have minus sign here minus minus into minus becomes plus we can write that as what r plus j omega l into r plus j omega l into this di by dx can be written as g plus j omega c into v g plus j omega c into v g plus j omega c into v means what means what i will rub this part okay so i will write this equation here itself what is that equation please tell me that is d square v by d x square is equal to what r plus j omega l r plus j omega l into g plus j omega into c into v okay if you see r l are constants r else 
This is nothing but what? R plus J omega mu. We can write J omega mu. Sigma plus J omega epsilon like that. So that means this is nothing but wave equation. And this is, we can treat this as some constant. So we can write this as gamma square V. So this is one of the, one of the equation. We can take this as equation C. Similarly, similarly, if you differentiate equation B with respect to X, similarly, if we differentiate, if we differentiate equation B with respect to X, with respect to X, what we will get? What is the equation B? This one, that means di by dx is differentiated with respect to x means d by d of d by d of d by dx of dix is nothing but what d that is d by dx of di by dx is nothing but what d square i by dx square this one d by dx of this one means g and j omega c are constants because we defined this as what for the given frequency j omega c is also constant, g is also constant for the given transmission line and uh, there exist what? g plus j omega c. As distance changes, voltage changes according to our assumption because at point A v, at point b it is we consider as v plus dv that is like this. Now, Of course, here I have minus sign that is minus. What is dv by dx? Actually, I wrote this one di by dx as g plus j omega c into v from b since from b. Now, similarly from a from a from a what is from uh, equation a? Equation a is nothing but dv by dx. What is dv by dx? dv by dx is minus i into r plus j omega l. So, here I have minus, minus into minus plus this one only, dv by dx is this one. So, here I have minus i, minus into minus plus i into r else, r plus j omega l into this part that is g plus j omega c into i. I can write this one like this that is d square i by d square i by d x square equal to what about this r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c? r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c already we consider that as what gamma square i so this is equation d equation d equation d from equation c and equation d we can derive the expression for we can find the solution for v and i the solution of equation c and d are given by i will write these equations a and b these are very helpful. Equation A, I will write equation A here itself that is the dv by dx is nothing but what minus i into r plus j omega l. Please see that equation. Equation A is this one and equation B is what? Equation B, di by dx is equal to what minus v into g plus j omega c. Okay, and equation C, now we have equation C and equation D, I will rub this part. We can write, remember these equations, equation A and equation B, C, D. Now solution of, solution of equation C and D are given by solutions of equations C and D are given by C and D are given by. What is equation C? It is the second order differential equation. So, this equation is nothing but equation of the transmission line in the form of second order. These are equations of the transmission line in the form of first order. They are first order differential equation. These equation C and equation D are second order differential equation. If you go for the solution of second order differential equation, the solution is given by what? That is V of x equal to what? v naught plus r else before writing this one i will write the wave equation that is dou square e by dou x square equal to gamma square e the solution of this one can be written as what e of x equal to what 
e of z basically we consider in our case do square e by do z square so that is e of z equal to what v e naught plus e to the power minus gamma z e naught plus e to the power minus gamma z plus e naught minus e to the power gamma z e naught minus e to the power gamma z please refer the solution of the wave equation please refer the topic solution of the wave equation i uploaded video on the solution of the wave equation please refer that video this equations c and d are similar to what this equation only so that's why instead of e here we, we have what for the equation c instead of e we have what v and here instead of h okay for the h we can write do square h by do z square instead of h we have this one these are nothing but what that equations are similar to wave equations only of course that equations are in terms of voltage and current whereas in case of the wave equation wave equations are in terms maybe in terms of in a in e or h wave equations are in terms of e and h whereas transmission line equations are in terms of the voltage and the current so now we can write solutions similar to this that is v of x that means the solution of equation c can be written as what e naught plus can be replaced with what v naught plus because it is voltage for the e we consider e naught plus for the v we need to take v naught plus remaining thing is same that is e to the power minus gamma x as it is x we need to take x as it is z we we are considering z so that's why v naught plus e to the power minus gamma x and v naught minus e to the power gamma x where this v naught plus v naught minus are the constants of the voltages similarly Similarly, the solution of equation D are given by respectively. That is, I of x equal to what? I naught plus e to the power minus gamma x plus I naught minus e to the power gamma x. Let us take this as equation one and equation two. Okay, these two equations, these two equations are important. Okay, of course. this one a and b are also important if you want to define that characteristic impedance we need to go for what we need to go for what we need to go for what this equation a and equation b we will discuss that characteristic impedance later basically here we consider gamma square what about gamma square gamma square equal to what i forgot to write that gamma square here where gamma square we consider as what gamma square or else gamma equal to gamma square is that one gamma means what root of r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c so this gamma is in terms of the primary constants that's why it is called as secondary constant secondary constant of the transmission line or else secondary parameter of the line and another parameter is Z naught. That Z naught is defined in terms of the R G C R L C G. That Z naught is given by like this. That is under root R plus J omega L G plus J omega C. We need to derive this Z naught. In order to derive this Z naught, or to define this, uh, in order to derive Z naught as like this, we need to use this equation A and B. equation a and b by using that equations a and b we can derive z not as like this okay this is all about the our transmission line equations we derived equations a that is first order differential equation for the transmission line and second order differential equations are equation c and d that is d square v by dx square gamma square v it is similar to what do square e by do x square equal to gamma square e and uh, this is similar to what this equation is similar to basically this one is similar to do square h by do x square equal to gamma square h that means in case of the waves waves can be analyzed in terms of the e and h whereas uh, transmission wave characteristics are analyzed in terms of e and h whereas uh, transmission line characteristics are analyzed in terms of voltage and uh, current okay this is all about topic transmission line equations we will meet in we will meet in next class in next class we will discuss about derivation of this characteristic impedance by using that equation a and equation b okay thank you